This is Genius Radio TV, the online home of Nigerian Convo, bringing you news and knowledge about Nigerian people, places, lifestyle, entertainment, politics, culture, and more. If you're watching for the first time, please click on the subscribe button. Now tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Peter and Paul Okoye, Africa's most famous identical twin singing sensation, pioneers of modern Afrobeat music and arguably Africa's most successful music group. For so many years, they had little or no competition and together won the hearts of millions of fans across Africa and the rest of the world, touring nations and filling up stadiums of about 23,000 capacity, giving fans the Michael Jackson experience with some fans passing out as soon as they took the stage. They had back-to-back chart-topping singles, sold-out concerts, filled up stadiums, endorsement deals, international recognitions and collaborations, and music awards were a norm in the lives of P-Square. Many would argue that P-Square were the first artists who redefined music videos in Nigeria, introducing crystal clear videos with energetic performances, luxury locations and sets, high-grade music video vixens, and a lot more that brought the gap closer to what was being done in the Western world. They were also one of the first to sell video CD albums in Nigeria, making tremendous the sales and bring fantastic numbers. But conflict disintegrated Africa's biggest music duo P Square in 2016 after a bitter argument about the role of manager who happens to be their big brother Jude Okoye. Peter Okoye felt like there was no structure in place to sustain the group and constantly felt like he was being sidelined by his two brothers Jude and Paul. Another major issue that broke the camel's back was Peter, Mr. P's decision to marry Lola, a Yoruba woman in her late thirties at the time of the wedding while Peter was only 32 years of age. This decision didn't go down well with his brothers Paul and Jude, who claimed that their late mother was also never happy about that relationship. This resulted in Jude not attending their wedding, a favor Peter also returned a year later when Jude got married to Ifi Ume Ukeke. Peter was labeled the black sheep because initially it seemed like he was going against his brothers but to set things straight and squash rumors, Peter revealed the apparent Peace Quest situation. He revealed that Peace Quest collaborations with Jay Martins, Bracket, LKT and Nice were done by Paul alone but he still appeared in the music videos anyways. However, other Peace Quest songs with Kaha, Dari and Rugged Man don't have music videos because they were done by Peter alone and Paul refused to appear in those music videos. Peter claims that it was getting to the point where artists now began to feel that if they featured Paul, they would get a music video but they wouldn't if they featured Peter. To sum it all up, Tiwa Savage was supposed to do a song with the Okoye brothers in 2016 and it happened that Paul had recorded his own verse and was asked to give Peter a CD which he didn't. Peter however covered for him and joked that the red label they gave him might have made him forget to hand him the CD. He then confronted Paul to tell him how he felt about the whole thing only for Jude to tell him that he had made Paul the lead singer of the group many years ago and of course without Peter's content. Listening back to old Peace Square records, it's obvious that Paul was the more dominant singing voice in the group but that doesn't mean that Peter did not contribute as well. It is also popular knowledge that Peter was the brain behind most of their popular dance moves including Michael Jackson's tribute personally, a video which won them many awards across Africa. While Nigerian music fans had already experienced so many music groups split up locally like Remedies, Plantation Boys, Style Plus, Tries Men, Maintain and so many others. A lot of people never foresaw a time will come when the brothers will part ways and become sworn enemies. Why? Simply because unlike other groups they were actually blood brothers and even twins for that matter. They had for years of their music career sold the ideology that they were indivisible with lyrics like Peter and Paul Demi one no be two. It's not hard to see why fans never wanted to see them part ways. When you have sold indivisibility for so long, it's hard for either party to really explain why they can't stay together anymore, especially being blood brothers. The talks of a comeback never left the mouths of their fans as they highly hoped that they would see the twin brothers pack things up to give them the peace square they had all been missing. This wish became a reality in 2017 when the pair made up and even released two new songs together. However, the makeup didn't last as Peter sent a termination letter which contained the request to go separate ways with his brother yet again. Peter's reasons was that his brother was being uncooperative with anything that had to do with the band and even went as far as going on social media to criticize his wife and children. I don't have any brother problem with their own family, the wives, I'm cool with them. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why it looks as if the hatred on my family is, I don't know why. I tried to ask what's the problem. Nobody's telling me anything. This resulted in the cancellation of the apparent US tour. Frenzy was all over social media the following day after a video surfaced on Linda Cage's blog with brothers apparently engaging in a physical altercation during a meditation session with their lawyer Festus Kiamo in his Lagos office. <laughs> 
Do if me I call me. your house, what will happen? My bring my coffee. The pizza may get you. Is that your coffee in town? If I call nigga, you don't have to do it. Repeat it. See, no, repeat it. Peter, shame on you. Peter, what's shame on you? Don't stop it. What's shame on you? Put up your shame on you. Hey, shame on you. Hey, shame on you. Don't give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, come on, baby. 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 I will blow you, fuck you! Fuck you! I will blow you! Respect you! Don't beat me! Don't beat me! Don't beat me! Don't beat me! Yes, I see me! So how have the Peace Square Brothers been faring as solo artists? Usually, when a group has over six albums together, it's not always easy to adapt to solo careers. And that's the case for the Okoye Brothers. Fans were used to seeing Paul take the lead role in most of their songs, while Peter entertained with his electrifying dance steps. But what they both stood out for was their electrifying stage performances. You would argue about some groups who parted ways and still did well for themselves individually. Take for example Plantation Boys which had Two-Face, Blackface and Face. They all enjoyed individual successes, although it was was never on equal platforms as Two-Face went on to be one of the greatest Nigerian entertainers of all time. So why aren't Mr. P and Root Boy enjoying massive successes like they are supposed to? The answer is very simple. They are brothers. It seems difficult for both of them to excel without each other because they have been together all their lives and the bond they share is different from when friends come together to create a group. Both of them seem to be in a competition where no one is winning. Although it will never look like that to them, Mr. P will argue that he has hits like Ebano, a song that has a son in the music video, Zombie featuring Simi, One Man Night featuring Niniola, and while all those songs really sound great, on the other hand, Root Boy also has singles with Tiba Savage, Olamide Fino, and many more. However, we can't deny that no song they have dropped individually as solo artists hits like the first song they dropped after their reunion, Bank A Lot. And this just means one thing, the fans want P-Square. So would Africa's biggest music duo, P-Square, ever reunite? Peter has always been the most vocal of the two brothers and has spoken out severally on different occasions to give his own terms for a reunion if it will ever happen. Respect is the number one demand that Peter has. We don't we no longer have respect for each other. It's whether we like it or not. It's not ego or pride, it's respect. The reason why he called for separation initially was because he felt his wife and his children were not being respected enough. In the end, they are brothers, the same blood flows through their veins and that means that there is always hope that whatever rift they have between them might be sorted out completely. Their fans all across the world are however worried that before they do this it might just be too late and they might never get to see the real Peace Square in action again. But let's face it, the sad truth is that it is most unlikely that any reunion would happen for the remaining period of their music careers and even their business life, except there is a divine intervention. Peter and Paul have grown into two separate individual brands and are fast becoming comfortable with doing their own thing individually. And if you ask me, Peter has proved the point to the world that he also has a great singing voice and can stand on his own. Do you feel the P-Square brothers are faring as solo artists? And do you feel there is still a need for a reunion? Drop a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you feel. Also guys, if P-Square ever made you happy with any of their songs, show them some love by liking this video and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button right now and click on the bell icon besides the subscribe button so you never miss out on any video that we drop.